morning reception. Nice to see you again today. It's Monday and are you ready for some new stories? Today's story is called What the Ladybird Heard on Holiday. And this one's a new one for me too. I've not read it before. Let's have a look where the ladybird goes on her holidays. One fine day in the middle of May, the ladybird went on holiday. She flew to the town to see the sights, the streets and the shops and the bright, bright lights. She saw the parks and the palace too. Then off she flew to visit the zoo. I wonder if any of you have visited a zoo before. Let's see what animals the ladybird finds at the zoo. And the crocodile snapped and the tiger growled. The lion roared and the monkeys howled. The elephant trumpeted trump, trump, trump. Humph, said the camel with a great big hump. The hyena laughed and the hummingbird whirred, but the ladybird said never a word. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men she already knew. They were Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh. And she heard them chuckle, ho, 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 we're going to kidnap Monkey Joe. <gasps> oh my goodness. I wonder which one Monkey Joe is. There's the monkey enclosure. Some of them are sleeping. Some of them are swinging in tyres. There's one eating a banana. And there's a baby one on its mummy's back. I wonder which one's Joe. Let's see. We'll hide till there's no one else about. Then we'll pick the lock and we'll get Joe out. And if we give him lots of fruit, he'll do the job and get the loot. The palace isn't far at all. Monkey Joe can scale the wall. I wonder what their plan is. Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh, they're going to use the monkey to climb through the window in the palace and steal something from the Queen, because the Queen lives in, the Bu in Buckingham Palace. He'll find out where the Queen's asleep then tiptoe in to her room, he'll creep. He'll open the sack and steal the crown. <gasps> we'll soon be the richest men in town. So what is Monkey Joe going to steal from the Queen? Did you hear that? Her crown, that's right. The little spotty ladybird told the animals what she heard. And the crocodile snapped and the tiger growled. The lion roared and the monkeys howled. The elephant trumpeted, trump, trump, trump. Humph, said the camel with the great big hump. The hyena cried and the hummingbird whirred. And all of the animals feathered and furred said, no, no, no. No, 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 we can't let them kidnap Monkey Joe. I wonder what they're going to do to stop Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len from stealing Monkey Joe. Let's have a look. But the ladybird had a good idea and she whispered into the monkey's ear. This must be Monkey Joe. Can you see the ladybird whispering into his ear? 
think the ladybird has a plan. I hope it works. Let's see. Then straight away the ladybird flew to the palace and had a word with the queen's two corgis, Willow and Holly. And one said gosh and the other said golly. There they are, Willow and Holly. That's Willow, like my, my Willow, but she's a cat. Here's the palace and there's the guards all marching in front of the palace. And there's the flag flying to tell you that the queen is at home. That flag is called the Royal Standard. And when that's flying above the palace, it means that the queen is there. And both the dogs agreed to do just what the ladybird told them to. Oh, so she's getting the dogs involved in the plan too. I wonder what they're going to do. Oh, what's happening on this page? Can you see? What's Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh doing with Joe? Let's find out. At the dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, checked there was no one else about. Then they picked the lock and they got Joe out. Oh my goodness, can you see what fruit they've brought? I wonder what Joe likes the best. Do you think he likes apples? Oranges, it looks like some tomatoes there, or bananas. Which do you think he likes the best? I thought bananas. Did you think bananas? <laughs> we all know monkeys like bananas. They carried him off to the palace gate, gave him a sack, then lay in wait. They watched him scale the palace wall and they muttered, Careful not to fall. Then they rubbed their hands as they saw him creeping into the room where the queen lay sleeping. Clapping their hands, they think they've got the crown. Here we go. Corgi Holly and Corgi Willow, who lay each side of the queen's soft pillow, were wide awake and they said to Joe, Come on, monkey, up we go. They led the way while the queen still slept and they showed young Joe where their bones were kept. What are they going to do with the bones, do you think? They, the monkey hasn't got the crown, has he? What's he putting in the bag instead? Their bones. Then they helped the monkey fill the sack and they wagged their tails as he carried it back. Ooh, it's getting exciting. Let's see what happens next. The two thieves yelled, hip hip hooray, but now let's make our getaway. They carried the sack to a nice quiet park where the only sound was a distant bark. They found a bench and both sat down and Hugh said, time to see that crown. Was the crown in the sack? Was it? Was it? It was in the sack instead. The bones, that's right. I just can't wait, said Lanky Len. They opened up the sack, but then... Uh-oh. You should have heard their moans and groans to find the sack was full of bones. Now, who's going to want these bones, do you think? Can you see? <laughs> Just then a dog came bounding up and Hugh said, Shoo, you greedy pup. Another dog was close behind and then came dogs of every kind. Oh my goodness. They all want a bone. Oh dear. Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh don't know what to do. A lurcher and a Labrador, a, a peak, a pug, and then more and more. Black dogs, white dogs, grey and brown. It seemed like every dog in town. They seized the bones 
and gnashed and gnawed and tugged and tussled, pawed and clawed, then turned upon the robbers yelping, how about a second helping? The thieves took off with leaps and bounds, pursued by all the hungry hounds. While the monkey ran and the ladybird flew with never a stop till they reached the zoo. There goes the ladybird and the zoo. Follow her trail. Can you see the animals in the zoo? I can see one. Do you recognise that one? That's a giraffe. That's right. There's two there. Let's see. Then the crocodile grinned and the tiger pranced. The lion leapt and the monkeys danced. The elephant trumpeted, trump, trump, trump. Hooray, said the camel with a great big hump. The hyena laughed and the hummingbird whirred. But the ladybird said never a word. There's the ladybird on Monkey Joe's ear. <laughs> so the ladybird managed to stop Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh from stealing the Queen's crown. And what did they get instead in their sack? Can you remember? The bones, that's right. And who wanted the bones? It was the dogs, that's right. There we go. Well, that was a lovely story and I'll, I'll be doing an activity in just a moment, so join me for that too. Hey everybody, this is our activity for today. We're going to do a little bit of writing. So can we all remember the story that we've just read, What the Ladybird Heard on Holiday? And we're going to have a look and see what animals were in the zoo. Let's have a look at this picture. You can see the whole zoo there. So this is in a city called London. We can see the London Eye there. We can see Tower Bridge. We can see Big Ben. We can see Buckingham Palace. And this building is called the Gherkin. It looks a little bit like a big cucumber and there's a double-decker bus and here is the zoo and in the zoo we might find some animals like this can you see any animals that you recognize in the zoo did anyone spot the lion can you roar like a lion Yay! Well done, that was a very loud roar. I can see another animal that has a big loud roar. It's orange with black stripes. I wonder if you know what that one is. Did you get it? A tiger! Can you roar like a tiger? Wow, that was really loud! How about something that likes to live in the trees? And he likes to eat bananas. That's right, the monkeys. And this animal lives in the water and he goes snap, snap, snap. That's right, a crocodile. And this animal has a trunk and big ears and he's the biggest animal on the land. The elephant, that's right. And this animal has a hump on his back and most of the time he's quite grumpy. There he is, the camel. And this one is the hyena. He's known for having a noise like, like he's laughing. There we go. I wonder if you spotted one of your favourite animals in that zoo. There's lots more animals in the zoo that weren't in our book today. But we're going to write about our favourite animal today. And my favourite animal, I wonder if you can guess. <laughs> Some of you already know. My favourite animal is the penguin. So I'm going to write about my penguin today. 
and my title is at and what this word is it's one of our tricky words the that's right at the zoo 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 at the zoo so my sentence is going to start with i like i'm going to write the word i there's one of our tricky words. I, when I'm writing a sentence, I need to remember to put my finger spaces in. Like, what does like begin with? Oh, that's right. This is another one of our tricky words. Like, oh, I, what else can we hear? K, that's right. And this one's a tricky one, K. Like. Now this one has a silent uh, on the end, you can't hear the F, but that's how we spell like. I like, I'm going to leave a finger space and put the animal that I like, penguins. What does penguin begin with? P, that's right, P, 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 P or penguin down, up, up and over, pen, P. is quite a difficult spelling so I'm going to have a go for you. It's a g and up and it and a mm. And because I like more than one of them we have to put a s on the end. Let's read it together. I like penguins. What do I need at the end of my sentence? A full stop. That's right, not a football, remember, just a little dot. I like penguins. Now, my next sentence, I'm going to tell you something about a penguin. Um, I'm going to write, a penguin can swim. So I need to start with a capital letter, a capital A, up, down and across. Ah, and I'm going to write my penguin word again, leaving my finger space, remember? Penguin. P, F, N, G, comes next. O, I, on the end because I'm writing a penguin. A penguin can. Oh, I wonder if you can sound out the word can. I'll leave my finger space. What does can begin with? K, that's right. K, K an, K, a, that's right. K, a, can. to write swim. So I'm going to leave my finger space. What does swim begin with? S brilliant. S swim. Swim. Wuh, wuh, wuh. Down, up, down, up. Swim. In. Swim. In. Do you hear that it sound there? Swim. Mm. Perfect. Swim. Let's read it together. A penguin can swim. And then I need a full stop. There we go. So I've written two sentences about my penguin. I like penguins, a penguin can swim. And I've already drawn my picture of my penguin there. So that's your challenge today. Have a think about your favourite animal that you might see at the zoo and have a go at drawing a picture of it. 
and then writing two sentences just like mine. Well done, reception. See you tomorrow. Bye.